Jamie Oliver, it is fantastic to meet you. Nice to meet you too, sir. There may be all sorts of noises in the background, but we can cope with that. That's we? all right. That's what happens when you do stuff in London, isn't it? You said before the camera started rolling that you'd give me marks out of 10 at the end. Yes. How many interviews have you done like this? I think this might be something like the 196. Yeah, so he's been a bit nervous today, so I'm going to give him marks <laughs> out of 10 just to uh, put a bit more pressure. You are arguably the most famous person I've ever interviewed. That, that's quite a bad show, really, <laughs> after 120. You might need to up the game of the quality of your guests. 190, don't strip me of 70 of them. Right. <laughs> are you ready to go? I'm ready to go, okay. my friend. Here we go. Will you count down 5, 4, 3, 2, 1? Oh, you're putting the battery in. I'm going to put the everything. battery in, yeah. Right. We've only got three minutes left. <laughs> Haven't started. Here we go. Yep. Okay. Three, five, two, four, three, two, one. When did you realise that you could actually cook? Uh, when I was about seven. How would you describe your style of cooking, or does it change? Uh, I think free-spirited, attitude, um, rustic. What is it actually like being as famous as you are? Uh, can be good, can be bad. Can you lose sight of who you are? Yes, easily. When did you first decide to try and make a difference in the world? Um, probably about 10 years ago when I started 15 Restaurant. Um, in terms of changing the way we behave, the way we eat, has that been a struggle? Has that been draining, those, that, those campaigns? Um, it can be draining. I think if you do the job properly, it's very draining, um, all-consuming. But, um, you know, I think if you're passionate about an industry, which in my case is food, Moving the bar and keeping things moving is a constant thing. How happy do you think people are to change? People hate change until the pain of not changing is worse than change itself. Do you see yourself now mostly as a chef or as an entrepreneur? Uh, yeah, I, I think the days of being one thing have gone. I think everyone has to be different. Look at this poor sound man. He's doing sound. He's carting all this stuff up. He's got lighting. He's got two cameras. And, you know, that's what's happened. So I have to be the same as everyone else. We have to multitask. Have you very consciously built an empire? Mm, not really. I think, I think uh, not consciously through commerce, but consciously through um, uh, camaraderie, uh, building up teams of brilliant, wonderful people, uh, building up teams of people that are better than you at certain things, um, and just doing great... <coughs> Great geeky things. Does that bring a big sense of responsibility? Uh, massive. But luckily, I'm a little, I'm stupid enough to not quite take the seriousness of my job too seriously. So um, uh, it's a fine balance. How many people do you employ? Uh, probably about 6,000, um, possibly more, um, possibly, yes, about that. What psychologically is it like putting your own money behind projects? Uh, always scary. Very, very scary. Do TV commissioners ever say no to you? All the time. It's a constant grind, a constant battle. Um, I've fallen out with many of them over the years. Currently, my current one is very nice. And the best one I've had yet, actually. Have you held on to the Jamie Oliverness of being J Jamie Oliver despite being such an important grown-up? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think at the end of the day, I'm still myself. I think my style of cooking is still the same as it was 15 years ago, but, of course, moving things on, moving subjects on, styles on. Evolution's important, but, you know, being a dad, being a boss, it all changes you. Being in a bloody recession, you know. Um, yeah, I, I, feel, I still... I, all my friends say that I'm still fairly the same. And how do you respond to criticism? How do you cope with criticism? Because you put your head above the parapet. And when you do that, some people probably want to knock you down. How do you deal with that? Um, criticism's never nice, is it? Um, I think after a few years, you start, you know, it's a bit like, you know, going to some place that smells of <laughs> You know, after a few minutes, you don't smell it anymore. You and might, um, have to, might have to beep that out. But can you not do <laughs> be better than <laughs> Can't you, do you, have you not got the budget for a bleep? We have got a budget for a bleep. For God's sake, put a bleep on. <laughs> I can say it, the smell of poo... Quickly tell me, <laughs> do you cook at home and how much? Uh, I do all the cooking at home. And what's your favourite dish at the moment? Um, slow cooking is, is, is raising its head uh, in my house at the moment. The weather's closing in, but not just any old slow cooking. Specific 
cuts of meat from specific places. I don't really want to tell you exactly where they come from at the moment because I'm a bit worried that um, then everyone else goes and buys it and I can't get it for myself. So I'm keeping that one secret for the moment. Do you ever eat junk food? Well, I don't know. It depends what you call junk food. What do you call junk food? Uh, if you're talking about stuff for crappy food for a drive through not for a long, long time. Not because it can't taste good, because it can taste good. It's just I don't... I, I have access to lovely food and I can make food a lot quicker myself, so I, I tend to not to, to do it. Um, but I can't remember, probably 10 years ago. How much better have we become as a country at cooking in recent years? Um, I think um, general standards, we're much more aware, we're much more exposed, and we have much more available to us, but um, we are getting busier and busier. So it's... A <laughs> that is five minutes, but I'm going to cheat now. Okay. Quickly tell me some interests outside of work. Uh, like fishing, um, like anything fast that scares me. Um, and to be honest, just love spending time with old friends and my family. But could it be difficult being expected to come up with an opinion, a view on things yes. in lots and lots of interviews? Yeah, especially if you don't know anything about what you're talking about. I often get asked about things I haven't got a clue about. <laughs> Final question. If I forced you to eat chips at breakfast or turkey Twizzlers for lunch, which would it be? Chips at breakfast? <laughs> Have you seen what, what's in the turkey Twizzlers? Jamie Oliver, very good to see you. Absolute pleasure. I thought you did ever so well. You didn't have auto cue. You didn't have any paper to look at. That was all from memory. I think that that's a good nine out of ten. Thank you very much. And if and, and if I had that's had, going in. Yeah. And if I had eaten a turkey twizzler for breakfast, I would have given you a ten because it would have sent me into a state of hallucin hallucinogenic um, disorientation.